Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do a very quick video on how to embed a widget, specifically in this case, a weather widget, into a dashboard on your Notion setup. Now it could be any widget, so you just need to find a place that offers a widget, and this will be how you embed it. This is inspired by the weather widget on my command center, my top level dashboard. So this follows that introductory video I just did on how to set up a command center dashboard sort of a top level dashboard to give you access and structure to your whole system. So let's dive in and do a quick overview on how to embed any widget with the example of how to do this weather widget. Okay, so this is my command center dashboard. And down on the lower right, you see the weather widget, which I find super valuable, it gives me a four day forecast. So how do we do this? This comes from a weather service called Meteo Blue. I will put the link in the show notes below. It'll automatically detect where you live. That's one of its settings. And so as you travel, it'll give you the local weather for wherever you are at, at that given moment, which is super nice. So this is the link below will take you to this page. I mean, you make that larger so you can see it, which is the Medio Blue website. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Either way, it works just as well, whether you pronounce it right or not. Click on that link, go to configure your widget. You can pick whether you want five days, seven day forecast, however much you want. I think four days is sufficient. Customize it, Fahrenheit or Celsius. And then you can choose whether you want an image that represents the weather in some way, such as the rain, it's raining right now here. So it gives us a rain background, or I prefer just a cleaner look with a solid color background. So pick what you want. Then you scroll down to the bottom and it gives you HTML code. But we don't want HTML code because the way the widgets work in Notion is you just need a link. So you need to look inside this HTML code to the very first item that says SRC for source equals, and then in quotes, has a URL. You want the URL inside the quotes. You do not want the quotes themselves. All of the URL up to the end of the first quote, and just copy that, hit command or control copy. Then just to test it, open a new window, enter that in, and it'll, you'll see the widget standing on its own. So that means you know is working. It's a nice clean widget that'll embed nicely. Now with any other embed, you just need to go to the HTML and if they don't give you a link by itself, then look for that first iframe source equals. So it's iframe src equals, copy the URL inside the quotes. Then come back to Notion. I'm going to create a new line above it. Just lower that a little bit so we can work on a new one. We're going to hit slash, forward slash, embed, EMB, start typing EMB embed out and it will give you the embed. It'll ask you for the link. You hit, paste the link in there, enter it, give it a second. It pops up and there it is. Now resize the window so you don't get the scroll bars and then it, and so it fits. It's a little wide enough so that it fits, but no wider than necessary. You scroll down until you get rid of the scroll bars. And there it is, nice and clean. Uh, this background will change given at different times of day. It's kind of nice. So definitely recommend that. I think it's a nice touch. You can do the same thing with widgets for uh, quote of the day. They're out there. Just Google quote of the day widgets or any informational widget that you'd like to have. There usually is one already made and you just need to find out the embed code and then find the link for that widget. And then you can embed it the same way. So I hope that's helpful. A super quick one today, but a fun little flourish to add to your design. I like to have dynamic elements that just provide valuable, useful, actionable information without requiring any effort on your part. And embedding widgets like that is a great way to do it. The series of videos following this one will continue to dive into each section of a comprehensive Notion-based life operating system. If this is of interest, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get updates on future videos. Leave thoughts or questions below and hit the like button if you found this valuable. And I read a newsletter called Mind and Machine on increasing human capability. I give away several of my best Notion templates to anyone who subscribes to the newsletter. You can, of course, unsubscribe at any time, but I hope you'll give it a chance. I work hard to pack it with a lot of valuable insight. I'm going to be adding some new Notion templates to that collection here very soon as well. The newsletter link and the template link is in the show notes below. Thanks for watching. Lots more to come.